Why am I the watching best way this, Lauren? I can put it. Right, this is the only way I can put it. This, me and Danny were talking about this before. And I really, 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 really want to like it. But I'm finding it harder and harder to defend. And the way I see it is it's like a big jigsaw of a beautiful painting with so much potential. And I've got all these jigsaw pieces that look beautiful on their own, but don't fit. And that's that's the only way I, I, can, I can see it. There's so many elements of it that I like. The costumes, the production design, the theories that they're putting them into with these trials but the execution just isn't there and it's really bugging me. The semantic hopscotch at the beginning of this episode was epic in the worst possible way. I was like, are you, are you actually taking the Mickey out of my intelligence here? I feel like the Mickey Mouse is pulling all the strings up in Disney Castle going, oh, oh. <clears throat> I will get my Mickey right in a moment. <laughs> oh, look at how I can make these! Look at how I can make these dumbasses buy something that I'm selling. Oh, it's like apparently I've lost my voice. Thank you, Link thank you, Lincoln Park. I can do a better Mickey than that normally. <clears throat> That's really annoyed me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so he's back. He's back. He's back. The song, that song which you loved in episode one or two. The song specifically mm -hmm. says, we need a coven. You even raised it last week. How do they progress from here? One of the witches is dead. They need a coven. You astutely raised that when we were talking last week. Oh, but no, it's fine. Lauren, it's fine. The coven said, we, the song said, we just, need a, we just need a coven to get onto the road. Just onto the road. That's fine. That's all. Once we're there, it's fine. Like. Because. Well, that's some new information you're conveniently bringing to the table, aren't you? And then it's like... Goal posts. No, actually... Oh, my God. The semantic hopscotch. But then one of them still says, but we still need a green witch. We still need a green witch. And then it's like, okay, let's bring in a new green witch. Because d d do you see how this is more running? We don't need a coven, but let's still have a coven. We lost a green witch, but it's fine. We'll just bring in another green witch. I'm like, but is what? she actually a green witch? It's like it is Rio. I've been paying more attention to trying to find names after last week's conversation. Rio is her name, apparently. Is she a green witch? I call Where her Aubrey Plaza. Well, I know. she she said in the episode, <laughs> "I'm not. I'm not just a green witch. I'm the green witch." She said it. So. Yeah, but I, I I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I, I don't believe the show, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> I don't believe the show. What do you mean? What? What's not believable about it? It's so real. It's just like in my house. <laughs> we... Yeah, it's... Again, we need a coven to get... We need a coven to succeed. No, we just need a coven to get on the road. When we're there, we're fine. Oh, but we lost a green witch. You told me a moment ago that doesn't matter, right? No, no, no. We should definitely have another green witch. But you just told me that it's every woman for herself once you're on the road. Yeah, but I really think we should have a green witch. Oh, okay, fine. Let's have another green witch. And let's bring in Aubrey Plaza. Rio. I'm like, it's all over the place. The, it's all over the, the shifting place. of the goalposts. And this was six minutes of semantic hopscotch. I'm, I'm literally keeping a timing now. I'm like, how much of my time have you now wasted shifting goalposts? Mm. Six minutes. What what is this nonsense? Yeah. And did it's I really or did annoying. I not predict exactly the direction that the show is going in? Every single episode is going to be a trial unique to the witch, and they're all going to come stronger together because of the power of love. And but one didn't did we get die some this power time. Power of love in this episode. One didn't die this time though, oh. which I was expecting. I, I again I liked it in theory. I liked the theory of the challenge and the meaning of it and what it was supposed to represent. But again, the execution just isn't there. It's it's bits and pieces of this jigsaw puzzle that they just don't fit together. And it, it, nope. yeah, I, I don't have a lot to say this week, if I'm honest, because I'm finding it really, really difficult to defend. I think the lesbianism is a box ticking exercise. Not that I'm against casual oh, I'm lesbianism in programs. So happy by any you stretch. brought that up. <laughs> I'm so happy it's, you brought that up. 
I, I is again, this the it's like time in the same year that Disney are doing lesbian witches in a show. I thought you were going to say that we agreed on something. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's one of them like like I say not opposed to casual lesbianism but it's like actors always say or a lot of actors say about sex scenes or nude scenes don't mind doing them if they're relevant to the story why is it relevant to the story like again we uh, and we keep saying every week maybe it'll materialize as to why further down the line but I'm losing faith in that and anything ever well, making sense the theoretical why I think at this point is because this is why is it Rio Aubrey Plaza's character, Rio? Mm -hmm. um, right. So Rio's angry with Agatha because they clearly had a bad breakup. I know, but that's, that's so that's... pants. Like, is that is that the only reason she's coming hey. after her to like kill her? Oh, we broke up. You hey. broke my heart. I'm going to kill you. That's original. No. Power of love. Don't pit, oh. put, put two witches pitting two witches <laughs> pitting two witches against each other, and because they're both witches, they have to be lesbians. No, 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 no. I think oh. Disney ha Disney has established in the year twenty twenty four that lesbian witches are a must. You clearly need lesbian witches in your show. The acolyte proved this. Now Agatha proves this. You mustn't only have witches. And that, that, they must that be lesbians. That pisses me off. <laughs> Big time. Big time. <laughs> this really pisses me off this because being like coming coming from a real genuine position here i'm a very spiritual very witchy person or what people refer to as witchy you know i like my crystals i like my i love the moon i i love the forest you know i'm very very la la la, la love all of that i am uh, uh well i'm technically bisexual so it doesn't really help my argument but i'm i'm married to a man i'm perfectly happy in my relationship i'm perfectly secure in my witchiness stop box ticking with what you think something should be when you don't fully understand it that's what's starting to annoy me about it now like we said last week yeah. this isn't a case of going everybody loved agatha let's what's the story we want to tell they've gone oh witchy stuff is trendy at the moment let's fill that box that's what it's that's what i'm finding we were really and successful earlier me. this year with the lesbian witches we should do that again it's like please learn <laughs> from let's your mistakes. Again. Or let's try again and do it a little bit differently this time no i'm not oh, enjoying the God. stereotyping i'm actually getting quite annoyed with the stereotyping um but the, the, again there are elements of it i don't want to dislike it because you know like we said before i love Catherine hahn i love the fact that there are lots of elements and the, well speaking of elements uh, it's clearly co it's coming to pass now that the trials are encompassed in the elements the first one was water the second one is fire you know i like how that is being incorporated but again the execution is not there there's too much focus on the box ticking and not on the context and the substance of what they're actually trying to do right, and it's annoying me <laughs> I've, just realized what this, I've just realized what the show is Go. it's captain planet earth fire wind water heart that's not a Captain Planet thing. They robbed that from the witches. <laughs> like that... <laughs> Captain Planet stole it. But yeah, you, you're not wrong. Um... They're literally going <sighs> to go earth, fire, wind, water, and then fix everything with the power of love. Huh? It's coming. Oh, my God. The show oh, is yeah, a bad yeah, Captain yeah, Planet. That... The show is a terrible Captain Planet. That's all it is. Agatha's going to be the heart episode when she becomes a good witch. Oh, uh... but you know what? The, the conclusion of it might be taking pollution down to zero. You never know. <laughs> He's a power <laughs> magnified. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my. Uh, oh so my. can we just look at look at the whole narrative of this show as a whole now? Okay. Because I was making notes like going, so this isn't exactly a nuanced narrative. It's very much a A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's mm. the, the, there's no derivate, uh, de de derivation, sorry, tangents. There's no derivations. There's no interesting side stories going on. There's zero character development, like zero. The characters are exactly the same as they were four episodes ago. Mm. Nothing has changed. Mm -hmm. All we know and now is that. They haven't done anything with Agatha either. Zero. She's literally still the same person. Um, and. <laughs> So I was making notes. Okay, so we brought Rio. We brought Aubrey Plaza to the party. So here's the notes. Here's, here's my notes. So now Aubrey Plaza is here. That means the story is as follows. This is the story that we have in Agatha all along. 
up to and including episode four. Rhea wants to kill Agatha. Agatha said, nah, you don't want that. You want me to be at full strength. Dumb, but okay. Rio agrees to this. Agatha goes on road. Rio joins her coven to help her get stronger. So in oh, in Disney's mind, we have to buy that someone hates someone else so much that it has pushed them to want to commit murder, but they hold off on murdering the person they hate and in fact help the person they hate and want to murder. This is so dumb. Like, this is... doesn't make sense. My brain is going, bro, where's the intelligence? Why are you watching this, man? It doesn't make sense. Why are we getting dumb here? No, no. No, It it doesn't make sense. It actually does make sense, but it's so fuck... Nearly swore. It's so surface level. It is so surface level. It's like, well, she did say she wants to fight her at full strength, so it makes sense that she would help her get to full strength, enabling her to fight her faster. I'm like, yes, sure. In a very straight line narrative, what what you're selling me makes sense. You should be a cat. Um, But it's like, fine, yeah. Hates her, wants to fight her full strength, help her get stronger to kill her faster. Sure. But what's interesting about that? There's literally nothing interesting about that. You're muted, by the way, darling. I've completely lost your mic. Let me unmute you for a second. No, no, it was it, it, me. I muted it because I heard the dog coming. Um, so it's like we said last week with James Bond. Like, it's that typical James Bond thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to kill you, Mr. Bond, but I'm not going to do it right now when it's been really easy. I'm going to wait for people to be able to come and rescue you or for something to happen to make sure you can get out of your situation. It's so boring and done. Yeah. Like, I'm not being funny. Yeah. If you're Aubrey Plaza and you have, or Rio, and you have every intention of killing Agatha when you get there, you're not going to stop. Especially when she's yeah. weak. It, it yeah. doesn't make sense. It's like, basically, sense. you're looking at her, at your murder victim and going, well, damn, I was expecting to go a few rounds. This is an easy day in the office for me, you know? You're not going to be like, yeah, mm-hmm. go pump some iron. I want you to bulk up and then let's fight. It's like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not speaking as a seasoned murderer, innocent here. But that's not how hate works. And in a show where the whole crux of it is the two char- lead characters are meant to hate each other. Like, can I turn your attention to The Last of Us Part 2, please? That explores a narrative about what hate does to the human condition. And it's not, please go and level up. That's not how hate works. Yeah. Hate I mean that that you. does leave hate. that does leave hate a gap that she does it, it it's a crime it, it's it was to be a crime of passion. She's still in love with her. Clearly, there's still chemistry there for their little moment that they had in the woods to make it clear that they're lesbians. And th- that's why I'm thinking they're probably gonna go down another path. It's like I never really wanted to kill you, I just wanted to be part of what you were doing and uh, human elements. Blah blah blah, but yeah, I I don't know what else to say about it to be honest. Yeah, there's there's only I'll I'll throw one positive at it just because I'm feeling generous. (laughs) Thought the costumes when they went into their house were really fun. (laughs) That's what I was saying before. Like there was the elements, the jigsaw puzzles. I mean, you you know me, I love my witchy stuff. It comes from my love of Stevie Nicks. You know, they've gone into a house and they're all dressed like Stevie Nicks. In different in different connotations, you know, in outfits that I would love to have in my wardrobe. So I love that about it. I I love the fact that they brought music into it. And but again, it's just no. not right. No, I can't. I can't co-sign on the music thing because they did the same damn song again in the space. I'm not. And saying, I don't I'm not like necessarily that song. saying the song. I just like the inclusion. No, no, I don't of dislike music. the song. Sure. As as a as a thematic device, sure. Yes. The fact that they've used the same song again, and that song mm. is being used as the device that gets them out of trouble again, it's just the height of lazy writing. I was looking at this going, so this same song is now going to help them get back on the road. I'm sorry, am I watching episode two again? What's happening here? I swear I mean, we did this like you... not even an hour and a half ago. I mean, they they used it to open the road, right? 
but then apparently they use the song to help them. Is... That's that's the broad thing. They use the song to help. Yeah, but them. then what's that's a face is more. Uh, I didn't get this one's name this time. I tried really hard because the other potion witch was uh, Jennifer. I got her as well. But the one who this trial was for, her mum mm. wrote that song. So, and then I, I was saying it, it was a protection spell. I loved that story element. But if that was what it was, why was it the song that opens the road? That Surely that should have been an ancient incantation that was standalone. Mm. And maybe the song could have been yep. adapted from the ancient incantation to protect the daughter. But it doesn't make sense for her mum, who was a, a musical star, to have written the song that became the song that opened the road, which is an ancient thing that is way older than she is. That that doesn't make sense. Again. It does. I answered it already. Lazy effing writing. They didn't have but any other story, ideas, so they were just like, I mean, yeah. oh, in the story, it makes no lick of sense. Pulling the curtain back, breaking the fourth wall here. This This is, again... Box ticking with witches and making them lesbians and having your tokenistic inclusion and then going down the hole. Well, and, <laughs> they're, they're not really paying us to write another song. Can we just not use the same song again? Oh, go for it. They're all dumbasses. They won't realize. Do the song. Oh, uh -huh. that's uh, I, I can feel Mickey Mouse uh, trolling me. I would love to know if they had any kind of witchy orientated consultants on this beyond let's use the four elements because obviously the fifth element is going to be love or whatever, but they actually have more of them than, than, than tangible elements. Like in, in, in the craft, they had a Wiccan, like a proper Wiccan consultant that helped them guide them through every element and every relevant element of the story. And that was clear. It was a clear vein through the film. This doesn't feel that way. So they've either had that consultant, they've taken some points on board and just done what they want with it anyway, or they've not had any consultation on it and they've just taken the bits that they'll find from the trendy bits, like the elements and the incantations and the obvious things. I would like to know. I think I'm going to have a look into that because if they haven't done that or they've ignored some consultation, that, that would make sense. They haven't done that 100%. I mean, if they have, the consultant should be slapped. Or they've taken some stuff on board and just completely ignored it because that consultant won't have any power to say what they're actually going to do with it. They can consult, but then ultimately they're going to do what they want with it. I find myself in this very awkward position now of uh, being in a really in a position I really hate where I have to say, called it, I called it a month ago. Mm -hmm. The show is going to suck. And I hate that I was right because I like I know, things I... being bad and then being pleasantly surprised and being like, oh, do you know what? Yeah. Wicked. Hands up. I'm happy. I'm wrong. I, I take no Definitely. joy in being right here. This show no. sucks. It sucks. Mm. You'll have to start doing, you know, uh, Will and Grace, you know, Gra <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Grace's mum. And she has that told you so dance. Told you so. Told you so. You have to start doing that. I feel I feel more like Chandler when he finds out that he made Monica come. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably suits you a little bit more. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> the geeky dance. <laughs> the geeky dad dance. The geeky dad dance. White boys can't dance. That's what I'm going to look at for next week. That's what I'm going to. That's what I'm going to look at for next week. I want. I want to know if they've had any consultation on it. I need to have a look at some articles. Bring that to the party next week, and in the meantime, we're going to turn it over to you guys. I'll ask the question again. Are we missing a trick? Is there something we're overlooking? I think the show is terrible. I don't understand the hype behind it, but I want to hear from you guys. We want to hear from you guys. Leave your thoughts in your comments below. There's a load of content on the channel at the moment that's been uploaded, guys. We've got the new, we've got the review for Francis Ford Coppola. We've got the review, the, the interview with Sarah Alexandra Marks. We've got a Lord of the Rings stuff that's come out. Yes, I missed Penguin this week, Sumi. I was busy <laughs> like penguin will be back next week hopefully um and look out later this week hopefully for a review for joker 2 and transformers 1 review coming next week so there's so much going on on the channel here keep it right here on the silver screen dudes this is lauren i'm nico Luro, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode of agatha bye for now